On the breakfast, members of the Oyo State 9th House of Assembly allege the Deputy Governor of Oyo State, His Excellency Engineer Rauf Olanio, has been impeached. According to the Natural Oil Gas Suppliers Association, there's the possibility of an increase in the price of diesel in the country from 800 naira per litre to 1,500 naira. Also, we take a look at the papers this morning, bringing you great analysis and insight on the pages uh, or front pages of, an, of a national dailies on the show. Welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Messi Popo. Uh, it's good to have you join us this beautiful morning, uh, Thursday morning to be very precise. I hope you're having a great day already. As always, we start off with uh, conversations generating different reactions in different spaces. And top on the list is the train attack victims reunite or re with family members. And uh, it's something that a lot of persons have commended. Now, we understand the dynamics of um, you know, the security challenges and whether or not uh, we are negotiating with terrorists or not negotiating as government or as individuals. But the most important thing is that you know, these persons have been reunited with members of um, their families and that is very, very commendable as uh, uh, we have that reaction from different quarters. But also, uh, we move away from that, uh, looking at uh, another concern, Ami finds Chibok schoolgirl eight years after. Uh, the Nigerian Ami took to her verified Twitter handle, and on the tweet on that handle, he says, troops of 26 Tax Force Brigade on pat patrol around Nogashi in Boronu State on the 14th of June, 2022, intercepted one Mrs. Mary and her son. She is believed to be one of the abducted girls from the GGSS Chibok in 2014. Uh, further exploitations ongoing. This is from uh, the verified Twitter handle of the Nigerian army. Mm. Very, very interesting like, uh, interesting, but this also has, uh, you know, gotten a lot of Nigerians talking whether or not. I mean, if you look at the tweets, uh, it says believed, so you can't really say uh, believe how sure. I mean, was it that you had the Nigerian I army mean, just passing by, taking a stroll, and then she was found eight years after, just like that? Or was there a deliberate search? You know, this information, not very clear and very... Um, precise, but um, some people are also saying that what is the guarantee that this is the exact person? Because I mean, how do you even? Um, I, how sure are we? How sure are we? Do we have a database where we have, um, you know, the names of the persons who have been kidnapped, and we can verify and we can say for sure, hey, this is this, uh, this is X Y Z. So the questions are on ending, and it, it still continues right here on uh, you know different spaces but the most important thing is that life has been saved if, if that's the case i mean if it's, it's something to uh, write home about it's very very important not away from this it's the electoral issue in yobe north where you have bashima china uh, refusing to step down for Ahmed Lawan. let's not forget that the senate president had contested for the position of the president in, at the party level. And he didn't actually clinch the ticket. He didn't get the ticket. And so uh, it has gotten a lot of people talking. Uh, it, it's a lot. It reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of uh, a lot of things that has happened in the past. For instance, uh, you find out that Bashir is saying that he cannot step down for Ahmed Lawan in the sense that he contested this election unopposed. At the end of the day, 
uh, you had INEC officials. You didn't really have anybody in Yobe North contesting the elections. I mean, at the party level, uh, no one was interested. So you just had uh, this uh, candidate, just him alone, contesting the elections. And we also understand the fact that uh, Ahmed Lawan uh, was interested in uh, the position of the president, uh, the office of the president. But fortunately, that then happened. And what becomes of him? So there are several reports. Other reports are saying that uh, he's lost at the presidential level and also probably would be losing the ticket. But the, 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 the some conversations that are going on talking about uh, um, you know, having someone elected to hold the position, having someone elected to hold the card, you know, in place, to hold the position. I don't know what that means, but I think that we have a lot to do with our electoral acts. That's what it just shows us. Because what exactly should it be? Is it possible that you, you did not express any interest for becoming uh, a senator representing your constituency at the party level? You did not purchase the farm, and nothing actually happened. Is it also possible, you know, for you to just uh, also wake up and say, "Hey, you know, I deserve to be here." Twenty-three years after, I mean, it's a lot of conversation going on, and the fact that one would also contest an election on a post it reminds me at a time where, you know, the university days, uh, I had a, a certain experience where I was. Not necessarily contesting, but there was also an opposition. And so you say, who would become the uh, class rep or deputy class rep? And then there was an election. And then all of the candidates decided to say, hey, we're not contesting. And so he felt like victory emerged unopposed. But you know, in the case of Bashir, uh, I really don't know how it is. I mean, it's quite interesting for me, but fingers are very crossed. And we'll see how all of this pans out. We'll take a break right now. When we return, we'll be looking at the front pages of our national dailies. Please stay with us.